hello hello and welcome back to the start of a new vlog if this is your first time here i am meek lachey make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come back and vibe and if you're returning thank you i appreciate it y'all it's the top of the morning it is monday january the 29th it is 10 38 a.m and your girl as you can see from the stove behind me has got up and prepared lunch and dinner the start of the life as a single mom get up and get done so i got the so when my boy get out of school he'll have his lunch slash dinner done and i won't feel the need to be rushing trying to get stuff done but we got a list of things that we need to do today yeah so we need to get started i got up and y'all when i tell y'all oof when i woke up this morning i got in the car to i need to run up to the store to get my baby some snacks because he ran out of snacks and mommy didn't get none while well, i'm talking like that boy is six when he's 16 i don't know but anyways i ran up to walmart to get him some snacks for school because of course he don't eat school lunch and as soon as i got in the car and i was bagging out sarah jakes just started talking on my radio apparently my cell phone one of my cell phones connected to my car and I don't know how it even got on her on YouTube. It just started talking. So I said, okay, God, I hear you. Apparently, you want me to hear this message this morning because I don't even know what it came from. So I want, I hadn't even been on that phone. I was on that last night. But anyways, so I listened to, I started listening to the message in which uh, that one was on. And then it was at pretty much at the end of it. So I went and clicked out of it and um then another well you know how i say like you can go to the next thing yeah so i went to the next one and it was another one it was stay in my lane by her stay in my lane by her i listened to that whole message when i tell y'all i had put my earbuds in went in the store i'm in the store like trying to compose myself like oh i hear you god i hear you god that message if it's for you You'll go listen to it. If you if it ain't for you, then you'll just bypass it. But it was it was for me this morning. Stay in your lane. That one's a good one. But anyways, we gon let's get the day started. I'm not even gonna tell y'all what's on the to do list because I don't wanna like change my mind up on nothing and then y'all be looking at me like you lied to us. So let's I'm still in my nightgown. Let's go put some clothes on. And get our life together this is today's look i have no makeup on i have on some hoops just some lip gloss i ain't got time for all that today still rocking these nappy ugly braids and i have on a black crop top long sleeve shirt some leather pants and my um chanel sneakers and i'm gonna put on a leather jacket because it's chilly outside but yeah this is what we are looking like today Y'all, this lighting is it's not working. And this damn jacket is too tight. Like, I can't even... Baby, this jacket too tight. This, like, back, this is how I can lift my arms without, like... Child, what was you thinking? Okay, so, I don't want to be responsible. And I'm supposed to be being responsible right now. I don't know if it's that I don't want to be responsible or I don't want to spend no money. I can't determine which one it is. And ma'am, oh, my little honey boo friend cashed out me some money this morning. So, girl, go be responsible. What's wrong with them? She throwing out the hell going on over there. I got to learn how to mind my damn business. Didn't that, did TD? TD. Then Sarah J stay stay in your lane and you is all over here. Girl, focus. Anyways, um, I don't know that I want to be responsible. I'm supposed to be going to get my oil changed currently at this second. And then I was gonna go get these brakes done because why are you squeaking? But now I'm just to the point now I'm hungry even though I made that food for my baby I feel like I want to go get me some food I want to go to lunch 
just a girl. I just want to be a girl, a soft woman. So I really, I really want to go to lunch. Is this Tanya? No, it ain't Tanya. Girl, I just be to get so distracted, y'all. Excuse me, daddy. I'm your baby. See, look, well, where that came from? I'm gonna get, get me up. Okay, so yeah, let's let's get stuff done. I really just want to go get me some lunch right now, and maybe I'll feel productive after that. Before long, that time tick 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 ticking, it's gonna be time to go get Junior. But then I'm gonna go to H and M. But the main priority was go get the brakes go get the oil change okay y'all I was gonna be responsible and get the oil change but I done came up here and the people gone to lunch I forgot it's lunch time it's 12 o'clock so now I'm just riding through the parking lot looking at cars because I told y'all I want another car this one done had it why the hell am I on a BMW lot and I don't see no BMWs? Y'all running low on vehicles? Yeah. Uh -uh. I see everything but BMWs. What the hell y'all done change? Oh, it's a couple of them over there. I'm going to have to go online because I don't see nothing out here. I mean, I, they literally only have like a few BMWs out here. And I don't want no BMW any damn ways, but... Y'all heard that. Now, the brake man is at the old uh, place. I did see him up there, but when I was headed that way, them bitches wouldn't break. They wouldn't squeak for nothing. They ain't want to squeak. Every time I get ready to go up there, make a fool of me and don't want to squeak. So, I'm going to take it as I need to go get some lunch since the oil change people is on lunch. I'm hungry. I want some soul food, like... I should have really cooked them collard greens and stuff today. Like my baby asked me to. But I was trying to take the quick route. And I made cabbage, cornbread, candy yams, and chicken. But we finna go have us some lunch. Should we pull up on friend even though we just seen him this morning? Maybe we should go to his office. Because... Show him a little love since he decided to show us some love this morning after he left for the cash app. And just like that. And just like that, I am full for seven dollars. And I was finna go sit at somebody's restaurant. Excuse me. And probably get him about forty dollars, thirty dollars to eat. But for seven dollars. I'm the same amount of food, and that was delicious. It, Cobbler's Kids Meal, told y'all last vlog, on point. And on the last vlog, I told y'all how I get it. Or the vlog before last one on. Anyways, I was just sitting here waiting on that lady to close her damn door so I can leave. I'm really debating because I'm out here at the mall if I should go to H&M, but then I know if I go to H&M, I'm going to want to spend some money. If I see something that I like. And I know I'm going to see something I ain't, I'm going to like. Because I ain't been in a long time. <sighs> then also. The cinnamon roll place. Inside of the mall is calling my name too. But I want to make some. Perline. Candy. Tonight. For dinner for y'all. Let me go. every intention on taking this hair down today every intention but we home um went to a couple stores got the oil changed got my boy from school and we are home i'm about to make that pecan pecan however you want to say it i already told y'all we're not gonna be 
arguing about how to pronounce stuff okay so we're gonna make the pecan purling and being that that's got a cool i'm gonna get that done first and then a little later because it's still kind of early it's 5 47 i'm going to make um a little hood meal because i want a little hood meal some baked beans potato salad and i'm gonna fry me some little drumettes and i got i had took out six little shrimp that i had because i really at first was like i want some shrimp some fried shrimp but then i was like i don't know if you're gonna get full off that so i might i might get your words out i might make the shrimp i might not i might say the shrimp for some grits and shrimp in the morning but anyways let's get this pecan perline pecan perline started so it can start cooling and i'm gonna show y'all how to do that and then we're gonna make the potato salad because they need to be chilled too i don't like warm potato salad i like cold potato salad so we're gonna get them two things out the way and then take these clothes off and chill let's get started y'all i already mixed up everything all the ingredients and i got it on the stove um heating up and basically oh yeah i am using my little um blender piece because i need to invest into a what is it called a whisk yeah how you gonna be a cook and you ain't got no whisk but basically what i got in here right now let me tell y'all what i got in here you just gonna combine it all in a pot and turn it on and let it start cooking make sure it don't start sticking or whatever but i got one cup of regular sugar one cup of light brown sugar and then i got three fourths cup of heavy whipping cream i got four tablespoons of unsalted butter and then you you know cut that butter up in pieces cubes or whatever and then i have one eighth teaspoon of um baking soda and then two and one fourth cup of pecan halves and a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla uh extract but i'll put it on the screen so y'all know what all to um put on there and y'all can just screenshot what all i got in here because yeah we're gonna um mix this up and get this a uh, boiling and then i'm gonna show y'all what it's supposed to be looking like when it start boiling and i'm gonna lay my little uh paper down so i can pour it on top of it y'all see how this bubbling up that's how we want it like that now i'm gonna turn this off and let it thicken just a little bit not a lot not all the way firm hard but just thicken up some Okay, you're gonna let it thicken up some. You're not gonna try to pour it on there while it's steaming hot, right? And then you're just gonna take, I got some, uh, look, whatever that paper called laying down. And then you're gonna just scoop out and put it in scoops. Like so, spread it out so they don't run together. Then you're just going to keep doing that till you get it all out. Make sure you like your stuff, your nuts spread it out. I'm the only person eating this. So I only cut up one large potato and then I have two eggs. And I'm about to make my potato salad once I get these potatoes soft and these eggs boiled. So my potato salad is pretty much very basic. All I do is, you know, you know how you bake potato salad. I use eggs mayonnaise just a little bit of mayonnaise mainly sour cream is what i use for the wet base i use green onions mustard pickle relish salt pepper garlic powder onion powder and sugar and pretty much just season it to the taste very basic that that is all mixed up i will sprinkle a little paprika on top and fyi let your potatoes cool when you're making potato salad 
Do not try to make potato salad while it's hot. If you got to stick them in the freezer for a little while, let them cool down before you try to mix all this stuff. And then put everything inside the bowl before you start mixing. If not, you're going to have some mashed potatoes with stuff inside them. You, sp you, su you are supposed to still have firm potatoes pieces inside of your potato salad. It should not be super. This is a simple one too with the baked beans. All I got in here is a can of Bush's baked beans, mustard, barbecue sauce, onions, bell peppers, sugar, and I think that's about it, quick and simple. Now with my first vlog, I showed y'all how, I, I wanna say with my very first vlog when I showed y'all that um, Sunday meal or whatever, I showed y'all how to make my baked, how I make my baked beans with like ground beef and you know a little bit more fancier than this like i said we're doing a quick hood meal y'all going there and i'm gonna put y'all on a charger as well as take a bath and change my clothes um i had to move my perline over to um the table because i need this island to show y'all the next step i'm gonna show y'all how to make a cocktail because i have not made a cocktail for y'all in a minute in a good little minute i think since like leading up to Christmas or something like that. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make a side car. And then after I show y'all how to make this side car, I'm gonna take that side car and I'm gonna go take it to the tub with me and I'm gonna take me a bath. Then I'm gonna get out the, the tub and I decided, did I say that yet? I don't think I said it yet, but I decided not to make the chicken because I'm still full from that kid's meal earlier. I told y'all I really could eat one time a day and be okay. But I've been craving baked beans and potato salad. So I'm just going to do the shrimp. And I'm, then tomorrow it's going to be like a two-part hood meal. Because I know I'm going to have potato salad and baked beans left over. So for lunch tomorrow, I'll just probably do the chicken. And eat the rest of the baked beans and potato salad. Because I know I'm not eating all that stuff tonight. I'm probably just going to eat a scoop of boop, boop, boop of both of them. And then I'm sick shrimp and I'll be okay for the night. Yeah, I, I get full and I stay full for a while. I had that kids meal at like one something today and it is almost eight o'clock and I'm still full. But I know what will happen is if I don't eat something now and I don't want to eat real late, if I don't eat something soon and I go lay down, I'm going to end up being hungry towards like the middle of the night. So I'm going to go ahead and put something on my stomach. Well, let me show y'all how to make this uh, drink really quick so we can take us a little hot bath. These are the ingredients I'm going to be using. Some lemon juice, some triple sec, some douce. You can use any cognac that you want to use, but I'm using douce. And um, simple syrup. When I tell y'all this is a such an easy and effective cocktail, so easy and effective. When I mean effective, I mean we'll get you nice and tipsy. So we're going to do two ounces of the douce. Matter of fact, uh, we're doing more than two ounces. Well, for y'all, I'm going to show y'all two ounces because y'all might not have a glass as big as mine. And then we're going to do one ounce of triple sec. And about, let's see, a half an ounce of lemon juice. This splashing everywhere. And I'm just going to eyeball the simple syrup. You do the simple syrup, simple syrup according to how sweet you want your drink. And I want mine kind of sweet. And then we're going to give that. Let me. I got to clean this mess up. Because that lemon juice squirted everywhere. Okay. Y'all know my nerve get bad when I got a mess going on. So we're not going to make a sugar rim. You don't need a sugar rim for this one. I mean it's optional if you want to do it. But I'm not doing one. We're just going to pull that into there like so. 
And then if you want to get a little cute, you can put you a little lemon. Let's do that. Hold on. Okay, what I did was took a lemon and kind of torched it some with some heat and dropped it inside for a little decoration. And yeah, there we have it. A sidecar. So Y'all, I got this new dove today. When I went to the store, I got this winter care scent to try out. Y'all know I'm a dove junkie. I will, baby, I will dove it out. But, um... This is what I was telling y'all about last time that I said I got a whole box and y'all can have it because who this for? Not for my, and this this ain't for mine because like I said it feels good on the skin but it don't agree with my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me without a paper plate, baby. But, okay, we done y'all. I gotta get me some ranch dressing and ketchup. Finally in our happy place. Finally, I have place. I did fix me a, a glass of sweet tea because, of course, I ain't had no reason just to be drinking that cocktail. So, and I need to be drinking some dang on water, to be honest. I think I had one, one bottle of water today, and I've been trying to drink at least, like, three bottles of water a day. But anyways, I'm going to eat my little food. I ain't never showed y'all, but my table, I'm going to try to show y'all real quick my table extends out it's like a glass table under a glass table and i can pull the other one out it's a double stack but anyway so i'm sitting on the couch i'm gonna watch some chop because y'all know i love the food network i'm gonna see him watch chop for a little while and try to stay my behind off tiktok because tiktok will have you walking around quoting stuff singing stuff like a damn fool all day i've been Nobody know me like you. Child. Mm -hmm. Child. It just be popping up in my head. Stuff just be in my head. Just like the dang old um, Rick Ross baby mama. Rick Ross baby mama. That one right there. Child. Child. I be over here. <laughs> Child. Let me. Let me start. Stay off of TikTok because this stuff really, I see why they wanted to ban, America wanted to ban it because this stuff will have your mind corrupt. Our attention span in this time is ridiculous. We will wear something out like right now everybody talking about Nicki Minaj and Megan. We be so distracted in America. We like some little freaking. We got to get it together over here. Let me eat my food. Okay, y'all. We done made it to the bed. It's time to call it a night. Yeah, I'm tired. I don't know what I got this camera set on, but I'm hoping it's on the right setting because when I go to upload, I hope this is correct. Cause I can tell I changed the setting, but I don't really know what it's on. Hopefully it's decent when I upload. But anyways, um, I really want to take this hair down today, but I don't know. Like I need to look and see how long I had it up here because if we ain't got our money's worth out of it, baby, why I look like I got a whole line of like a, a man with some dreads the way I got them little baby hairs coming down. Child, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. But we're going to get our money's worth out of this because we're not going to be wasting no money. Not in 2024. We, Sarah Jake said, stay in your lane. We is not for trying to keep up and, and improve points. If it's about stacking that money, make that money, and make that money work for you. Forget all the glimpses and the glam. I mean, we won't get a little glimpse of glam, but make it make sense. Make your dollars count. Generation of wealth. Yeah. Oh, this is. Anyways, I'm gonna um. I'm gonna go to bed. Cause I'm tired and I feel like I'm asleep so good. It don't seem like we did much today, but we did. We were pretty productive today. Behind the scenes, you know. Pretty productive. 
So we gonna be back at it tomorrow or whatever. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. See y'all later. See y'all tomorrow or whenever. Good night. Here's the lunch. This is day two of Hood Simple Meal. Hello there. Y'all, I have not seen y'all in so long. I ain't seen y'all since Monday, and today is Friday. I ain't seen y'all all week. Your girl been at getting to the money. Your girl been booked and busy. Yeah. So, yeah. As I said, business gonna pick back up. So, I'm excited about that. And, um... Today is Friday and it is like 2.35. I just wanted to pop on here real quick because I ran home. I've been at work, but I ran home because I put on some red beans and rice in the crock pot this morning. Because I knew I had to go back this back to work after I get Junior from school. So I put some red beans on, but I needed to run home and check on them. And, um, well, actually turn them off. So I came home to do that and I was like, pick up the camera because we finna take this hair down. We finna take this hair down in the midst of... Sending a line waiting on Junior. We finna get it out somewhere along the way. And then I got it. They crochet. So it ain't gonna be hard to take them out. It shouldn't take me long. And then when I go back to do this other girl hair. I'm gonna do my hair while I'm doing their hair. Yeah. We gonna get this done. I still ain't made up my mind about the big chop yet. I actually was gonna do the big chop this morning. But... My homegirl end up leaving work. She ain't want to work today. We're going to do something about her. Because friend. Stay at work. So she didn't. She ain't, she left. So I couldn't get her to do it. And plus I ain't had the crochets out my head. I had a ton of clients. So I ain't had no time to take them out or whatever. So I wasn't tripping on her. She was like do you want me to stay? I'm like girl. I still got these things in my head. I got several clients. When I'm, when I'm going to get around to get my hair done. So, we're going to at least take these out. And I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I want to do the big chop. But then I'm thinking, do I want to do I want long hair one more time before I go? Before I cut it off. It ain't like once I cut it off, I'm going to be stuck with it. Because I'm still going to be wearing weave when I, feel like, when I feel like going long. I'm still going to be weaving it up. I actually said I was going to try to get some of the glueless wigs. To throw on for when I want longer hair. But yeah, your girl ready to get big, sassy, short and sassy. So, anyways, we gotta do something because this shit done had it. Baby, you looking toe up from the flow up by the edges. It's looking like a whole lineup. Like, what? Anyways, we gotta go get this little boy from school and like I said, in the midst of everything, take this hair down. So, I'm going to talk to y'all. I don't know. I might talk to y'all in a car. Or, I don't know. I'm going to talk to y'all again. I know that. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back looking. <gasps> oh, Jesus. It's the way my hair parted over there. That ain't a ball spot. So, the only thing that's a ball spot because it ain't. It's the lines from the braids that was up there. But anyways, um, headed back to work and still don't know what I'm finna do with this hair. Still don't know. Because I'm like, okay, if I do the short hair, short hair requires attention. You can't just, why oh, y'all look glory? You can't just throw that in a ponytail. There's a police up, got up here, got somebody pulled over. I ain't tell y'all I got pulled over the other night. Sure did. He just let me off with a warning though. He said I was speeding. And I was. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna come back. Okay, I'm back. And I got a feeling when we get on this interstate, the sun, the sun is gonna be all in our face and we ain't gonna be able to be great. But I'm gonna tell y'all that um, pecan, perline, don't do that. Don't do that, cause that didn't turn out right. And I make it a lot and I've made it a, like a million times but I haven't made it in a long time and baby it ain't turn out right so y'all don't do that don't do that one right though hold on for a second and um I think I let it get like too hot I'm not supposed to let it get that hot so we're gonna have to run that back but 
y'all know I'm gonna be honest with y'all. They ain't turn out right. What it was was it didn't get like hard. You know how it's supposed to get hard and firm. It didn't, it never did do that. I mean it did on top, but then on the bottom. Anyways, it ain't turn out right. And then I also didn't tell y'all that uh when we went to the store, we went to tar Target and um Forever 21. Forever 21 didn't have none. I ain't get nothing out of Forever 21. And Target, I just got my boy some more uh t-shirts like little t-shirts and stuff and um i got a, a a little workout set like another little workout set y'all know i love target workout sets <clears throat> which is like a pink one or whatever but y'all probably see it tomorrow yeah because i'm sure we're probably gonna spend some time together tomorrow because we ain't doing much of nothing and oh speaking of doing my last vlog didn't do good. Y'all need to get over there and watch that vlog because I finally took y'all somewhere. I took y'all to New, no, Nice Guys in New Orleans. I took y'all somewhere and y'all act like y'all didn't even want to be there. Didn't want to go. So get over there and watch that vlog. Because the views on that vlog ain't ain't doing. Go watch it after you watch this one. But anyways, yeah. Head back to the salon. Figure out what we're going to do to this head. Like I said, short hair is like high maintenance to me, like a little bit, sort of kind of a little bit. You know, when you got weed, when you got longer hair, you can pull it back in a ponytail or something, but with short hair, you're gonna have to wash it, reinforce it all over again if it needs like to be laid down again. But we'll see, y'all gonna see before long, but I'm gonna holler back at y'all, cause as y'all can see, this sun is sunning. We didn't get around to doing our hair at the salon because I ended up working on my client by the time I got finished. Oh girl, why you turn the camera on like that? By the time I got finished, um, it was later than I would like to be at the salon. I don't like to be at the salon real late because I don't need the parking lot getting all empty and somebody trying to rob me or something. Thinking I got that big bag on me. So, I'm finna start doing it tonight and then I'll probably just go and cut it off tonight and then tomorrow. And I miss when I made my eyebrow too thin. But um, then tomorrow, I'll just finish it up at the salon tomorrow. But at least we'll have the majority of the part out the way. My eye is twitching. So, let's get started. And I turned that camera off and went to bed. It is the next morning, it is Saturday morning. And I got up and washed my hair and I got blacked out my hair right now. I was too tired to do my hair last night. Then I knew I had to get up extra early this morning to go to work, so I got blacked down my hair. But I want to tell y'all that this, is it gonna show, show, this Clara Beautiful Collection, the um gray series if you like your hair black this is the black the best black rinse to use tip tip so anyways let's get out this house and go to work and then we're gonna finish our hair at work because we're still indecisive with our indecisive ass <laughs> the original the original i'm happy with my decision um i'm probably gonna end up even going a little bit shorter around the back but i'm not sure let me see if i can pull y'all up some more i'm not sure just yet but yeah we back we back and i'm happy about the decision 
we can always put a wig on if we want to go back long but overall we ain't got to feel the need to just constantly be having some weave in our hair for the most part so even when it was going through its longer stage um when it was going through its longer stage or in between stage it was kind of like i felt like i had to either put a ponytail on or put some tracks in it like but with this i don't have to constantly have weave in it yeah but anyways we're gonna um we're gonna go find something to do i'm gonna take y'all to the mirror and show y'all what i got on and oh yeah i think i'm gonna put some hoops on what y'all think some hoops i'll leave the studs on i'll probably put some hoops on but i'm gonna take y'all to the mirror and show y'all what i got on and then we're gonna get out of this house and try to enjoy the saturday just a little bit just a little bit but we bad grown grown and sexy grown and sexy okay y'all remember i told y'all i had got a two-piece set from target this is the pink two-piece set y'all know like i said the little two pieces you want a little snatch target okay it is the top is made like a little y'all see it and then the bottom is the pants are actually like a bell bottom type and i just got some white sneakers on with it and yeah i love these little two-piece sets and then i just kept on the studs i don't think i'm putting no hoops on i feel like the studs just give it more of a classy look even though it's an active set you ain't gonna work out with no studs on so i mean with no hoops on so keep the studs on and play like you want to work out man but yeah this is the set and oh the, it was on sale too the set was on sale the top was like 60 but i think the top was 60 percent off or 70 percent off and then the bottom was like 60 because it was on clearance but yeah let's get to the car and then we can talk some more you know, I forgot it's crawfish season. I could have, I wish I would have left early. I would have went to um, this place, to Cafe Nola and um, on the beach and got me some crawfish because I used to go like when it was crawfish season, like every Saturday, me and my ex-friend or whatever you want to call her, um, used to go every Saturday when I got off of work. I know they ran out now because it's like 4 30 in the evening and then again i keep thinking girl do you want to eat seafood do you want to be bothered with some crawfish and be worried about dripping it and smelling like i don't need to be smelling like because uh them pumps of that baccarat and delina don't need to be played with it's too expensive I need to get something that I ain't got to really worry about. Stinking. Even though I can get some wipes and wipe my I'm gonna wash my hands and stuff, but it'd be just my luck if I drop a piece of juice on me. Girl, you too cute to be funky now. Yeah, I done made this trip way out here. To the beach. I'm sitting in front of the place because I thought I want i thought i wanted some sushi and some crab claws but then i'm like i really could just eat a chick-fil-a salad and take a nap that's sounding real good right now a chick-fil-a salad and a nap and try to do something later on is what it's giving right now because i'm sleepy as hell then i'm also like hibachi don't sound bad mexican food don't sound bad everything but i don't uh i don't want this i don't want this mexican food or hibachi or the chick-fil-a salad in a nap the chick-fil-a salad in a nap would be cheaper than the hibachi in a Mexican restaurant. <sighs> I need to get a hold of myself. Like you wasting time and gas and time is money. 
these people out here it's too freaking chilly like why would you be out here with sweaters and jackets and shit on like just go home and wait another day yo why am i back home with my chick-fil-a salad uh -huh. i done came back home all that driving putting on clothes and all this speaking of putting on clothes i'm probably putting this back on tomorrow if i'm gonna wear tonight if i'm gonna wear else but all that just to feel like i want to go home and eat a salad and take a nap so this is what i'm feeling like right now salad and that i don't know i might get it together and then like like i said i did all that driving i was gonna go ahead and go to the mexican restaurant since it was on my side of town but then i was like i don't even feel like going to sit and wait on no food i'm hungry right now i don't, I don't feel like sitting there waiting on them to bring it out and like i said i was gonna do better with unnecessary spending and i've been doing not good no nah, i've been doing better but um See, that was better by making this decision right here. But, um, yeah, I, I got, I would have got to the Mexican restaurant, or got to the restaurant and would have, um, got a beverage, an alcoholic beverage and everything else. And it's liquor over there for free. Well, it wasn't free, but it's free now. So, I don't know. I might go back out the house. I might not. I might just, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to end this vlog soon, uh, end this vlog, or attempt to go back outside. I don't know. We'll see. But I know what we is going to do. <laughs> we is finna. Oh, yeah, I know what I want to tell y'all about. So, remember, was it on this vlog or the latest vlog when I was saying how um, social media or TikTok just got us. <sighs> Mind consumed. We walking around singing songs and stuff. Y'all see that they took the, the music off TikTok. I'm so happy I ain't had too many um videos that had like. Well they didn't take all the music off. They just took the. um. I, oh yeah. I put Polynesian and Ranch on my salad. But um. They didn't take all. They just took Universal Music off. And. Yeah. So I'm happy I ain't had like no whole bunch of. Uh, TikToks with their music on it or whatever. But I find it very funny. That. They took it off. And. Um, Nikki songs are gone. But Megan. Megan songs are still there. Baby, Megan mama up there working, huh? Don't play with her, baby, because <laughs> you'll end up in jail or something. <laughs> don't play. Her ancestors is watching over her. That's how my ancestors is about me. Don't play about me. Don't play about me. So, y'all just gonna come over here effing over me? You gonna be dead, jail. Something gonna fuck up in your life. I promise you that. Y'all, yeah. I have not took no nap. I done went to Walmart. Went to the grocery store, got stuff. Went partially grocery shopping. And now, oof, I'm up a hill. Cutting up greens at 8.30 at night. Preparing or prepping my Sunday meal. I'm sleepy as hell, but just refuse to go in there and lay down and go to sleep. So, I'm going to prep my Sunday meal and get it out of the way. I'm like, just get it out of the way. So, I already know I'm nine times out of ten going to have to go with friends tomorrow to a sports bet because I ain't go with Saturday. And I had the nerve to post on social media a little, a little uh, body yaddy yaddy. So, I know tomorrow he going to be like, I can't leave you on the ten to get your ass in the car. 
<laughs> so let me go ahead and get this little Sunday meal going so I can get up first thing in the morning and um and finish cooking so we can be on the road probably he gonna probably wanna leave by 11 30 12 o'clock tomorrow we'll see I ain't even gonna fight with him because I know he wanna he like oh this this why you wanna try to go because you wanna be thirsty on the internet I ain't thirsty but you know every now and then I gotta let the hole know she still got it yeah but um so i'm cutting greens up tomorrow i'm gonna probably do macaroni greens candy yam greens candy yam macaroni and cheese ribs and cornbread because that's what my man my little man my son want but, yeah that's all i got going on the people is asking me to come outside though and i'm tired I'm tired. I don't know about going back outside tonight. I'd be cool with just being in the house for real. Like, for real, for real. I need to buy some old knives. Let me take this jewelry off while I'm trying to cut. I need to go take these clothes off. But I'm too... I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna go back outside. I don't know. I talked to Dominique. I told her I let her know. She bought trying to prep. She was in the grocery store too. She told my little know she can just take the stuff home and come back out. She really want to go out to the condo and get in the hot tub. But um go out to the condo on the beach. But I don't know that I feel like driving back out to the beach tonight. And then driving home because I don't know what it is, but I do not I, I gotta stay at my own house. I can't spend the night. I'm gonna get up. And go home. Sure is. So, I don't know. We'll see. I really just be cool with chilling in the house. Protecting my energy. From all the wickedness outside. Anyways, y'all. I'm going to cut these greens up. And we'll see what the night hold. Y'all. Yeah. I'm going to put the, the granny gown on. Like, it's 9.15. And I got the granny gown on. Y'all know that means <laughs> time to lay down. Yeah, I'm tired. I, I'm going to try out the fight. I got to at least stay up to... I got to let them pigtails cook. At least I'm just trying to get the meat done for the greens. Now I finish cooking tomorrow. So, I don't know. I might lay down and sit my timer for like an a hour and 30 minutes. Or something like that. That meat should be done by the end. Probably another hour and 20 minutes. But I can't. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm going to have some people mad at me. But I'm tired. I cannot. I got to take care of me. My health. And this is not healthy right now to be this goddamn sleepy and trying to fight. So, I'm going um, I'm to take these lashes and stuff off. And I'm going to probably lay down, brush my hair down. I guess it's back to wearing a scarf. I usually put like a do rag when I got short hair. I put my um big satin wrap on it or a do rag. I can't wear that little black thing that people wear just that go around. That shit gonna come off, and all this gonna be smushed every which way. No, I'm not gonna be bothered with that. I don't like them things. I like something that cover the whole hair so it can be still molded flat. When I get up tomorrow. But yeah. Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> and yeah. I got something I want to tell y'all. So freaking bad. I made a big. I made. I made. A major decision. Wednesday. And. A big investment. Big for me. But. I feel like it's the right thing for me to do. I got several things. I got other stuff going on other than my salon that people don't know about. But um, I've learned a few years ago 
that you shouldn't tell everybody all your business all the time. Like, you don't have to tell people every money-making move you got going on because whether y'all know it or not, people pay on, people prey on your downfall. And I know that what's, what's for you is for you, but, like, some stuff you just have to keep to yourself for real, for real. But, and I also realize, like, especially in your city, people won't support you as much if they feel like they, they'll they literally try to take no interest in what you got going on just because you, you, you. And I've learned you ain't got to put your name front and center. You don't have to tell people, hey, this is my project, this is me. Sometimes you just got to let other people take the lead and let people think that it's somebody else or whatever and just make your coins for real. That's what you got to do. Because when people feel like this is you, this is this is Tamika's, this is... I ain't fooling with it. That's how people will be because they feel like, oh, I ain't put no money in her pocket. Baby, I'm going to eat regardless. I have people be like, you don't even sound like you work that much. What you be doing, yeah, I live comfortably. Sure do. Because it ain't your business, everything I got going on. No. So, um, anyways. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Like, it's going to win. It's going to win. You ain't got no choice but to win. But, um, I'm, I, I want to tell y'all, and I'm going to probably eventually tell y'all once, like, it's really thriving and everything but um yeah <laughs> and i might eventually tell y'all about another project that i got i've been had going on but um right now because i know people probably watch my vlog from my city i rather just protect my babies and don't say nothing and just make my shh money. And let people wonder how I make my shh money. And that's how you got to do sometimes. Like, you don't have to always put your name on everything. And I'm most definitely realizing that, yeah, you, you got to show everybody every move. People probably think I show everything, but I don't. Let me answer my phone for my man. 